This FrameMakers update is absolutely huge. In it, we get official support for FrameMakers custom content on the Steam Workshop, a new assist, huge assist balance changes, a bunch of technical and quality of life improvements, and if you didn't get it the first time, we finally have an official place for FrameMakers custom content which is super easy to use. In this video, I'm going to go over all of the important FrameMakers updates that you need to know about. I'll start with the less exciting things, then finish with the most exciting updates. Let's start with the gameplay bug fixes. A hard 120 FPS limit has been added when using V-Sync. Forward plus up plus strong now results in an up strong instead of an up tilt. Characters can no longer get stuck on a ledge when the ledge was disabled, which is which is nice. And a parry can now occur if shield and special are pressed on the same frame. Controls have also received some fixes. They've changed how movement controls are assigned to joysticks and d-pads, making the process a lot easier. Tilt and strong buttons can no longer be on already assigned keys. And the dash button now now works properly when movement is set to the d-pad. Thank god for that. The menu has also been changed, mostly in regards to custom content, but I'm covering that later. Other than custom content, we've gotten a crash fix, an exit button, and a couple other minor changes. Characters have also seen some significant changes. One of the most pressing is that all characters have received improvements to their CPU's recovery, so while Tara will no longer just jump against the edge of a stage. Commander Video's Rainbow Trail no longer stays when trading hits, and they fixed a bug that allowed Commander Video to stall in the air by holding the special button. Octodad got new sprites, that being sprites for jab 1, up tilt, and back air. Octodad also got some bug fixes as down air no longer flips Octodad over when grabbing an edge from above, down air can now grab walls like up air, and Octodad can now grab enemies in vulnerable states like crash. And finally, Orkane got some bug fixes for side special. The next update is really exciting, but if you could leave a like on this video before I go over it, that would mean a lot. Okay, let's continue. One of the biggest parts of this update is the balance changes the assists have received. For Ain, hits are now registered more consistently, combo hits can't be DI'd or hit stop nudged, but the final hit still can, and the amount of damage required to charge has been decreased from 100 to 90. Birthday can now be DI'd, shielded and reflected, Captain Viridian now starts up a lot quicker, the kid's damage has been reduced from 20 to 17, and knockback growth has been reduced from 85 to 75. Crag's pillar now reaches maximum height a lot quicker, Orkane's startup speed and speed have been increased, Orkane is now no longer followed by the camera, and Orkane has received increased damage, knockback, hit stop and self hit stop. The silence poison damage has been reduced from 2 to 1.5. Tankman has received huge nerfs as damage to charge has been increased from 100 to 125. Tankman's damage has been reduced, knockback growth has been reduced and the bullet can now be reflected. While Taro now starts up faster and his hit stop has been increased from 7 to 20. And the following assist has a reduction in the amount of damage required to charge them. The Bard, Diogenes, Fancy Pantsman, Joseph, Rhythm Doctor and Pizza. But that's not it for assist, because a new Octodad assist has been added, which is Octodad's up air attack. Here it is being used by Slice and Dice to demonstrate its combo potential. Unfortunately, this assist didn't launch without problems, as shown by the V0.4.8 hotfix that followed soon after V0.4.7. This hotfix fixes a glitch where the new Octodad assist could be damaged, which is just wild. Custom content now loads correctly if there's more than one content type in a project, which will hopefully fix an issue that I've been having with loading Andy Opie's My Singing Monster stage. The inability to load replays with names longer than 75 characters has been fixed, and the custom menu info description has been updated. This was followed by another hotfix that just dropped as I'm recording this video. This hotfix is version 0.4.9 and it's mainly to do with Octodad. Octodad's down special is now disabled after a whiff or grabbing terrain while in air, and they fixed a bug with Octodad's up special which allowed it to grab opponents through terrain. Okay, so let's talk about the update we've all been waiting for, that being FrameMaker's custom content on the Steam Workshop. This is the new custom content screen in FrameMaker's. As you can see, it has a bunch of custom characters, assists, and stages listed. The most exciting part is that I didn't have to mess around with any files to get these creations into FrameMaker's. All you have to do is go into the FrameMaker's Workshop, then click subscribe on a custom content you would like to play with. It's that simple. This new addition is going to be absolutely huge for FrameMakers, like we finally have proper support for custom content. Rivals of Aether, we are coming for you. So custom content is now really easy to use in FrameMakers, but what isn't easy is showcasing all of it. But don't worry, because I've made a video showcasing tons of awesome custom content from the FrameMakers tester build, which you should definitely give a watch. Thank you so much for watching this video.